Okay, hi, I'm Geodav, and this video, what we're going to do is we're going to add a weapon to the FPS multiplayer template, as you can see here. Now, to make things easy and simple for everybody, pretty much what I've done is I've gone to the marketplace. Yes, we'll get there eventually go to the permanently free free collections and you will find here the FPS weapon bundle All right it's free so get it it's not fun okay it's not fantastic but it's free gives you something to play with All right back to the library now once you've got that well it says buy but obviously it's free and let's see if we can find it there's the template there's a bundle you click add to project and you s select the project that you want and then you add it obviously I've already done this so let's see if uh, I don't have to. okay all right so we then go to the FPS multiplayer template open it up now there's a couple of little things that we have to do now as you can see here I've already been playing around so that I actually know what to tell you okay simple right so you will find when you open it up you have something like this hopefully as you can see infinity warriors from the last video so we'll go to FPS FPS weapon bundle weapons meshes and we've got some bits and pieces here accessories amorage ar4 it says ka47 but hmm i've always known it as an ak47 but there you go uh knife we're not going to go there smg11 you know if i remember that is a, a stire but let's say a long time ago it's definitely not an Aussie anyway but uh, and it's not a, S, a small machine gun as I know from British forces but anyway uh, what we're going to do is we go to the AR-14 AR-14 I'm thinking of an M16 here because that's what it looks like to me but there we go right we'll just open the skeletal mesh here now there's two things we have to do okay otherwise we'll have problems is in the asset details panel go down go down and you'll see here under the physics it says physics asset go clear right, we don't need a physics asset on the weapon and if I read correctly from the uh, discord forums uh, it causes problems right the next thing we have to do all right and this is the easiest way to, you'll get to do it is we go into the fbs and uh, oh, i could never find where, where he's got could it also we'll just go into this is the easiest way to find things all right uh weapons there we go all right fbs blueprint weapons now you can see here B, BPDC weapon 1 yes I've been playing around so we'll go into the assault weapon open the full editor go for the mesh right where's the mesh find the mesh there it's actually in the weapons bit okay now we can close that down because we don't need that what we need here we need to open the skeletal mesh file for the rifle okay then we go to skeleton now this is what we need it's a socket All right the socket goes on the end of the mesh or the end of the mesh bone okay and it's there where the uh, the flash restrictor or a flash hider whatever you want to call it and what we want to do is right click no, let's see, no. double click there we go and just copy the name 
Right? Don't bother with anything else like copying sockets or whatever. There's no need. So we go back into the SKAR4X. Click on the skeleton and see where it says muzzle. It's got a muzzle socket. That is a socket. Click on there. Paste. And save. Now you might wonder why we're doing this. It's purely because the effects are traced normally. I'm not too sure how he set up his weapons. But in other projects I've worked with. It all goes from that socket. It simply having every weapon with the same socket the same socket the same socket name it just simplifies things all the way through okay so it just makes things a lot lot easier all right now we've done that we save that and what do we do from here right let's go back let's just leave that open there right we go into Oh yeah, assets, weapons, yeah, fairly logical place to put things. Alright, we'll go into blueprints, weapons. Now it's up to you which one you play want to play with. I'll just, I think I made that well, from over there, but uh, just right click. We're going to go on the assault weapon. Right click duplicate now I'm going to call this number two and if anybody's wondering why I say DC because one of my former projects I called it DAVCorp right, GeoDav DAVCorp Let's get the link yeah fine okay alright well, have we got the right one? No, because we've opened the base weapon because we didn't want that. All right, we want the BP DC weapon 2 in this case. And you get that, and you're like, I don't really want to do that. Let's see if we look. No, go away with there. All right, open for blueprint editor. Makes life so much easier, trust me. Click on viewport and you will see the weapons that the author has used from the shooter game. Now all we have to do is in the components section click on mesh FPP which is the first person part. Go over to the right hand side to the details section you see here mesh skeletal mesh left click on the little arrow and we'll go to the SKAR4X now I see this is going to cause me a problem now let's see because that one's going to do the same again yep okay we have orientation issues there so what we'll do is if I go back to the one that I initially tried because that worked fine so obviously we've got some orientation orientation issues now you may within the blueprint be, be able to rearrange that but in this case the one that I used before, which is the straight AR4 mesh, as you can see here, that's already got the bit up there. See, you do a run through and you think, yeah, everything's fine, and then you tr record it and everything is wrong. But hey, that's game dev for you when you're using content made by other people and it doesn't work. Right, so uh, save that, yeah, close that down. Right, what do we need to do now to get our character class to use that weapon? 
now in my previous video I used the character here blueprints characters and classes we used the so-called official class now we don't want that at the moment and as you can see we've got a infinity blade character and he's in the sort of pose but you still got the first person arms from the shooter game but uh, maybe I'll deal with that uh, in another video <coughs> uh, we'll see how we go on that right what I initially thought and I don't understand why he's done it this way but hey ho you gotta go with the flow this was set to base weapon and this was set to none now I thought initially yes weapons set these to what we want unfortunately no that doesn't do diddly squat at least when spawning into the game so what do we have to do to make sure you spawn in with the correct weapons right we have to go to the custom construction script as you can see here I've already done it and we'll change that to DC weapon 2 and save and c c compile and save and once you've done that you can click on play right, uh, host do a test level host that one joint server search game there we go and we'll join that server and we'll go official and spawn official and spawn now you can see in the right hand screen it's already there left hand screen there we go and yes you can see in the bottom window if you're looking we're getting a lot of official class set server pitch not being processed that's not my fault but as you can see we have the AR mesh and that's the sort of errors that, that you shouldn't be getting now that's due to the official mesh player as you can see there the, the positioning of the weapon is not optimal shall we say and the size of the weapon is not optimal and it's the same in the first person view now it takes a lot more work let, let me just get out of there it takes a lot more work with the, the, char the character to actually set it up to use multiple weapons in different hand positions that requires a fair bit of IK work I have seen it done but it's not been done for this uh, project so whether you want to try and hunt for another project that has that sort of thing because at the moment this is unfortunately a bit more basic than was actually expected but I, I, don't, I don't want to upset the uh, the author too much but he's He's got a long way to go to to uh, justify the, what he's selling. To be honest, there's a lot of work he's put in there. Don't get me wrong, but there's a lot more to do, or there's a lot left for other people to to do when using this project. Now, like I say, I was a little bit sort of like put out the way the, the weapon classes were set up, but it works and that's about as much as we can ask for at the moment okay so i'll leave it at that you'll know where to find me the discord for the multiplayer because that's where you'll find this link okay so i'll catch you the next time if you need help give us a shout well, let's get on to that